Morning. If there's one thing I've gotten good at in the last three years of doing cons, it's packing up a hotel room quick. We out, Taranga. I'm gonna miss the breakfast place. All right, guys, Taranga's in our taillights and we're on our way to Rotorua. I am so excited to say this. We're going to Hobbiton. He runs the Hobbitses. <laughs> that was Robbie's 10th take. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, we're in a holding pattern, waiting about 10 minutes to go down to the actual movie set of Hobbiton. Uh, it's amazing already. Everything is so green. Like, everything is Hobbiton. So, we're just waiting a little bit uh, right by the Shire's Rest, and uh, we'll be down there in a minute. I cannot tell you guys how pumped I am. I am such a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Every uh, year on uh, winter break, I used to read one of the books from either uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy or The Hobbit. I used to go to sleep to the DVD uh, menu music. I used to watch that movie all the time. It is one of my all-time favorite series. I've got a little shelf in my office dedicated to it. I never thought I'd be here. I am so stoked. <laughs> Ray is entranced. I can't believe I'm actually here in Harry Potter. <laughs> How many times a day does that joke happen here? I guess probably first ever <laughs> in the history of Hobbiton. Robbie was whistling the Game of Thrones theme as soon as we got here. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's not even a joke. <laughs> Ridiculous. No, it's not a joke. No, he really was. <laughs> Robbie, have you seen my mailbox? I was supposed to get mail. It was right here and I, I don't know where it went. <sighs> so weird. I am in Hobbiton. Hobbiton. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going with you.
I just like to creep out of my hobbit hole. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I'm in heaven, you guys. Filthy hobbitses. Fucks us down the path. Says there's free brew. No brew for Smeagol. Eat him! We're walking to the green dragon. I have to pop! I can't believe I'm about to cross this bridge right now. She actually looked, I mean, not even the point of actually being, you know, on the set. <laughs> Take me into the pub where the hobbits drink. Doop -a -doop. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> She's giving me a cider. She's my new favorite person. <laughs> you can keep your fancy ales. You can drink them by the flagon. But the only proof of the brave and true comes from the green dragon. Hey! Hey! This is our tour guide, but what's your name? Hey, you know. You know. You the best. We love you know. Cheers to you know! Yeah! Thanks, guys. Thank you. Ray opened the case and put his autograph in. It's right here, right? I signed it Peter Jackson. Yeah. Well, of course you'd misspell your own name. Yep. Meet me at the inn of the Prancing Pony. But this is Process's Green Dragon! Robbie, your love of the halfling's leaf has clearly slowed your mind. I have no memory of this place. Peace out, Hobbiton! Alright, we're about to go on our kayak glowworm adventure. Again, another beautiful place. Adventure time. About to put on uh, some serious fashion. Everybody got those blue pants. Blue pants. Blue pants. I'm about to put on some blue pants too. Wow. Dress for adventure. Adventure. No, I we saw we saw the glowworms kayaked up the river. We did it. I mean, Robbie did it. Yeah. But you know, I helped. Yeah, you helped. You were a great passenger. <laughs> <sighs>
fashionista. Well, we've been on the bus for about 45 minutes. Uh, the kayak glow worm tour was awesome. Obviously, you can't film it because it uh, would mess with your night vision and you wouldn't be able to see it, but oh man, the stars were amazing. You could see the whole Milky Way. It was beautiful. And uh, now we're in Rotorua, about to get to our hotel. See you in a bit. All right, y'all, we made it. We're in Rotorua in the hotel. Uh, man, that was a long day. It was awesome. Between Hobbiton and the Glowworm tour, we had an absolute blast. But um, it was long. We were on the road a bunch. I haven't eaten since I had like a shepherd's pie and the green dragon. So I'm gonna shower up, go out, hit the town, have a bite, see who wants to join me. Um, so, a little fun fact about Rotorua. It sits on a big uh, geothermal landscape. So you'll be driving around and just there's steam coming out of the ground, out of rocks, out of nowhere, and there's a bunch of hot springs. So that's part of, you know, the tourist thing about it. But we were warned about this. Um, all those gases coming out of the ground, including sulfur, permeates the air. It is thick. You smell it. It is basically like Zeus up in the heavens just ate a bunch of deviled eggs and just took a giant fart on this town. Well, Ray and Julia decided to go to bed. They were sleepy. Max went to bed. He's sleepy. It's only nine o'clock. I don't know why Max is sleepy. I did 90% of the paddling today. So, uh, it's just uh, me, Lone Wolf, cruising the mean streets of Fart Town. This is their version of the Strand, 8th Street. I'm guessing I'm gonna be here a lot over the next couple of days. Not bad though. Bunch of restaurants, shops, colored lights. Not 8th Street, 8th Street. Stupid. Well, they had a MOA, which I liked, but I don't want to go to the same place twice. So that must be like one of the things that they do. I saw a place called Lone Star. It is not like uh, like our Lone Star. And uh, somebody said it was good in Tronga. So I'm gonna see if their kitchen's open, baby. Well, the lone wolf has returned to his den with his tail between his legs. I couldn't find anybody who would give me food on each street. Apparently it's not Eat Street after 9.30 p.m. But I made it back to the hotel and enough time to get room service. I've got a, uh, a weird New Zealand beer I've never heard of before. It's good. And uh, now I'm gonna sit down and wait for my room service to come and sift through about 10,000 pictures and videos of Hobbiton. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Guys, oh my god. 